All right, we're recording here, episode two of Cowabunga Pencil Time. We got a beautiful drawing being made by my friend and YouTube superstar, Joe Van Cleave. Uh, this video is about a bunch of ballpoint pens that I made in the style of some uh, mechanical pencils that I also made. They're all free on GitHub. You can go get them, download them, put them on your printer. Bada bing, bada boom, you got some pencils. All right, let's get into the video. Here we go. Testing. Okay, uh, welcome to Cowabunga Pencil Time, uh, ballpoint edition. Today we're gonna like, take a look at uh, some ballpoints that I made, uh, put them on GitHub for you to download and print at home, you do it yourself. We're gonna look at the different types there are. We're gonna look at how to put one together with this part and this part and how to do it and so it's a working pen so you can push the button and then it comes out. All of these ballpoint pens, they take uh, Parker style G2 refills uh, they're not uh, the uh, Pilot G2 style refills. This is a standard, usually metal, but sometimes plastic, ballpoint cartridge refill like this. Anyway, uh, most of the models, they take this guy. There's a couple shorter ones. They take a Fisher Space Pen so you can write in space, underwater, in the shower, while you're crying. Doesn't matter, you can even bleed on the paper, you get, you get grease on the paper, uh, super out of space pen. Anyway, this one's a uh, Unibitsubishi uh, Power Tank Fine SJP-7, 0.7 millimeter ballpoint uh, pressurized refill, also writes underwater, in space, whatever. Anyway, this one goes in the slightly shorter ones. Let's take a look at uh, some of the pens that I made that you could print out. Okay, here we go. Uh, last time on Cowabunga Pencil Time, I showed you all of the Pentel P200 mechanical pencil bodies that I made. And then I also like a ballpoint pen now and then for writing on forms or receipts or whatever. And so I made all these ballpoint pens in the same sort of grip configurations that I liked from the pencil project. Anyway, you got your classic uh, ballpoint pen right here. It's got a 8.5 millimeter knurled grip. It's very grippy, feels nice in the hand. Uh, this is a uh, button you push like that, and the tip comes out like that, and you push uh, this button here, and then, you know, you push it out, then push it in. That's how that thing works. Anyway, I made this 8.5 millimeter grip, and then I made a, ooh, let's focus the camera, I made a, this 10 millimeter grip is also knurled excellently. There's a little bit deeper knurling than in the 8.5 millimeter because of the thickness of the shell wall of the pen. Anyway, I also made a 12 millimeter knurled grip for a ridiculous looking pen here. Let's push the button, see the nib come out. Anyway, that's a very uh, nice pen. Got a, got a lot of control right here for writings and drawings, but I think my personal preference is this medium 10 millimeter pen for pretty much everything that I like to do in. Anyway, let's take a look at some other classic designs. Uh, I made this one. Looks like a pencil. It's hexagonal. It got a tapered tip here. You might be familiar with the shape if you've ever held a pencil or if you're a little bit fancier. A Caran d'Ache 849 classic ballpoint pen shaped like this. Uh, but also all the pencils. All right, and then I made the same one in a different color over here But you can print it in whatever color you want. Don't worry about it But this one's got some uh, grip and grooves there so your fingers don't slip at the end of the pencil pen So it's a ballpoint. Anyway, uh, this one reminds me more of a Conti Criterium lead holder from uh, maybe the 50s in France but uh, also a pretty classic shape for a ballpoint pen, or uh, you might recognize it again from uh, pencil. All right, we'll look at how to put one together later. We got two more to look at. We got uh, these two. These are also classic ballpoints. They're a little bit shorter than these guys. Look, if we line them up a little bit shorter, it's a 10 and a half millimeter difference between your Fisher Space Pen length and your yeah, Parker uh, G2 style ballpoint refill. Anyway, these two shorter ones, uh, there's a heavily knurled and a very smooth knurled version up in the files on GitHub. You could download or print whichever you want. And then there's also this uh, ridged version. We make them 
in uh, Pocket G2 and Fisher style. Let's uh, take a look at what's inside of one of these pens. I'll show you how to prepare the pot to make a, make a pen out of it. Anyway, you got three parts that you got a 3D print. You got your button, you got your lock here, you got your, your pen body. Then you got your Parker G2 refill, oops, over here. Then you got your pen spring. Okay, the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a needle file, the round, round cross section as much as you can get, and then uh, an X-Acto knife. So I'm gonna start out here, I'm gonna trim just a little bit of this uh, brim off of the part. It's nice and smooth in there. Then if there's uh, any of the brim left on the bottom of this uh, clicker button, we're gonna just trim it off. There we go. Make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, get rid of that brim. Make sure uh, this could slide in there like that, nice and smooth. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna see, do this uh, fit in here like smooth. It don't. Now we're gonna use a needle file to clean up any uh, uh, spare stringies uh, hanging out in the tip. And just give it a little whirl. You don't wanna enlarge the tip too much to get a wiggly tip when you use your thing. You can take your needle file, put it back in the top here and then kinda of shake it to the bottom. Then you can put your needle file in from the inside to the outside and just work it back and forth. All right. Now we should be able to get the the refill into the pen and maybe push it down so the tip comes out boop there we go nice and smooth not a lot of wiggle oops now we're gonna add the pen spring to the refill put the refill into the body stick the clicker in like this with this little cross piece here facing the hole this little locking piece, it's going to go like this. We'll probably have to trim both of these and stick it in here like this. Then it won't go in. There we go. Okay. It's barely working. We're going to trim some of these parts so it doesn't uh, just pop out like that. Okay. First thing we're going to do. There's a little bit of slump in here in this bridge. And so I'm just going to take out just a tiny bit to make room for the button. Let's take a look at the button. The button has a locking surface right here that's designed a little bit long in the print so you can trim it and make a really hot edge, hotter than the printer can make by itself. Just take off the minimum amount of material here to make a flat locking surface. And any of the little strings or whatnot, you want to take them off. And this guy has to have the lock move up and down pretty smoothly in here. So you may want to uh, go inside and just trim any strings off the wall or the top that might get in the way of the lock. Any little doodads sticking in here in the bottom, you want to clean those out, make it nice and clean. Any little doodads back here that are going to prevent the button from closing. I'm going to trim away. It's hard printing at this scale. But it could be done with the assistance of a little bit of a razor. Alright, you trim that out there. You can uh, put these together like. Make sure they work together. Will they lock up? Will they slide down? Yes and yes. Now let's put it in the body. Okay, so now we got a working pen here. There you go. You want a clip? You can put a clip. It's a pencil clip. I believe it's about 8.5 millimeters in diameter where the clip goes. And there you have it, uh, drafting style ballpoint. Uh, you can go to cameradactyl.github.com. GitHub. No, go to go to github. Uh, 
go to the link in the description below. You can find all the pencils. You can print them out. Uh, the instructions for printing are the same as the pencils before. So just look at that video. There'll be a link in the description. Yada yada. Make the pencils. Uh, smash that like button. You know, tag me on Reddit. I'll be around. All right. Hope you love the pens. Uh, I'll catch you later. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay, this video, we're just doing uh, a couple of cowabungas for the audio. Cowabunga, baby! Cowabunga, baby! Cowabunga! Cowabunga, baby! Alright, I think that should do it. I like that sound.